hello guys today i will show how to use my admob extension in nitron so let's create a new project first then need to import extension now unzip the zip file then open it you can see all of necessary files in this zip now import the add move core this is mandatory it will provide you the sdk support now i will import the add move banner at extension and now add move interstitial then add move rewarded and now add move rewarded interstitial and at the last add move app open it now drag the add move code this is mandatory and drag other ads now we need to design the ui here i am taking some buttons for initialize sdk and load other ads i am designing the ui only for testing this arrangement is for showing the banner ads i am changing its name as banner bio you can rename, rename it what you want the first button is for initialize sdk the then the second button is for load banner at let's rename the component name for better understanding in block section also rename the first button as initialize as dk then this button is for load app open it also rename the component name as what you want this one is for interstitial add i am just showing the way for loading ads you can set up by your own goals also i will show the output
if you don't have this extension to get this extension click on the link from the description and the last button for loading and showing rewarded in the stadial ads i am taking a notifier to show error message and the sdk initialization status now let's go to block section we also need to set up the app id get go to setting then here you need to paste your app id add move app id and that should be checking that it is save or not okay. now go to block section when initialize button clicked we need to initialize you can set it on screen initialize event here i am initialize sdk by clicking on button when initialization success i will show a notification notify and when banner button clicked i will load the banner at bio as banner bio content component actually it's horizontal arrangement i'm setting standard banner size you can set any other banner size or you can make custom banner size i will show error message if banner had failed to load then when a open button clicked i will load the app open at orientation as portrait you can also set landscape mode when add loaded i will show the at also i will set the add fail to load and add fail to display event and show the error message you can do any other job if you need then when enter stdl button click i will load the add and when it loaded show the ad also the same things for interstitial ad it can be fail to load or fail to display so we need to handle this case and when rewarded ad clicked i will load rewarded ad then when at reordered at loaded i will show the ad also i will handle the ad fail to load and ad fail to display case also show a notice when user reordered here i will show the amount and when rewarded interstitial ad clicked i will load the ad then when ad loaded show the ad also same things for this ad need to handle ad fail to load and ad fail to display error 
also i will show the amount is a rewarded amount and you can show initialization error using this field event at the bottom field event you can read the message for understanding the error now let me set up my add init ids here i am setting the my banner at init id then the tutorial id you can see here i am using my real add init ids and my device id also already set up here in my dashboard so i can show live ads without publish my application don't worry i will show the output from the application after export let me complete setup all add unit ids now let's build the project you can see the building process started it's already 30% complete building let's wait until the building process complete Don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch more videos about any other extensions. Also, I will publish a new video for native app application exported. Now download it, and I will show the application testing result in this video. Don't skip. let me install the application to my phone now it's installing install completed now open it initialize dsdk now load banner ad you can see live banner ad now let's load app open ad and it's loaded now let's load interstitial ad and you can see interstitial ad now close it let's load rewarded at
you can see rewarded point now let's root rewarded into the statial you can see the rewarded amount 5 this extension also support mediation with Facebook, Unity, Ad Colony, Applovin and some in other ad networks. So goodbye and thanks.